Hello everyone, it's me Alex and I'm coming to you today with how to make a Book of Shadows or a BOS as it's also known. I'm just using some fabric and a three ring binder. Now besides the fabric and the three ring binder, you might want to include some tab dividers. You can either get some paper um, like I have here to show you. I just got some regular paper and then I just got some clear tab dividers and then I added it there or you can get the ones that are already um, made for you and then you just slip it in. You also, would I like this stuff right here which is just some spray adhesive. You're going to want to uh, open a window or a door use this in a place where it's well ventilated so that way you don't get yourself sick and high or anything like that because this stuff really does kind of float everywhere. But it really does work and it's a really good stick. If you can't find any of this stuff or if you only have this stuff, which is some Eileen's No Sew Fabric Glue, this also works really well. But it, it takes a little bit longer for it to actually set and it's a little bit more messy than just the spray adhesive. So what you do is you just lay your fabric out and I've already pre-laid it out just like that. And making sure you can see it. And you shake this stuff up really good. You get it with about a few shakes. Counts about 10. There you go. And this stuff actually a little goes a long way. And then just spray your book just like this. And then stick. It, it gets everywhere. And it is sticky. Very, very sticky. And you have 15 seconds within which to lay this down and make sure that whatever you did was right. And then, I didn't iron this. I could have ironed it, but that's okay. Make sure there aren't as many air bubbles or any creases or anything like that. I'm doing here. Just like that. And there you go. And you just do this. Just like that. And then do the other side. And then flip. And stick. Flip and stick. Flip and stick. <laughs> and then make sure that you pull out any air bubbles or anything like that that you may see. And do this as quickly as possible because like I said, 15 seconds is basically all you've got. Or elsewise, this stuff does start to come up. My internet's going in now. And then after that, you just take some scissors and I've hidden my scissors from myself. Hold on. I use a yard. I buy a yard because I didn't know exactly how much. But if you happen to know, then of course you just buy it. And then I just cut. And since this is going on the inside, I don't worry about making it absolutely positively perfect when I'm cutting since it's just going to be on the inside and I just kind of eyeball it it is thundering and lightning out there right now and then of course I always save my extra pieces that I have from any fabric because I never know when I might want to reuse it. Never ever know. And I just cut. like that. And then of course I just do the same. Take this and round 
down the side. And then I just did this and then just folded it over. And fold it and then I just again pull the air bubbles out as much as possible. And by the way, this stuff is actually really sticky. So be careful if you're not into really sticky things. And then again on this side, I just I just flip. Make sure you press as well as possible. And then what I normally do is of course again cut so that way you can actually just whip it up.